We've moved the texts to speech tools out of the main application and now host them in the cloud. This vastly increases the features of the tool. I'll open the text to speech tool from the tools menu. In the text to speech dialog, I'll enter or paste the text I want to create audio for. Click in the voices box. In this next screen, you can choose the language you want to generate your text in. I'll click the languages drop down, and you can see that there are dozens more languages available now. For now, I'll choose United States English. From the gender list, I'll choose all genders. Notice the long list of voices I can choose from. This list has also greatly expanded now that the tool is cloud hosted. I'll click the filter voices button and select both high quality only and select voices with styles. This filters my voice options down. I'll choose the Nancy voice for my narration. In the speech styles list, I can give Nancy some character. Let's see what excited Nancy sounds like. When I click the Generate Speech button, the audio is created and plays back. Here is the text I want. How does she sound in a whispering delivery? Here is the text I want. You can continue to experiment with different voices and styles to find the perfect one. You can also translate to a different language. An advanced feature that's also new this version is the ability to edit the audio with SSML, a speech markup language. I'll click the SSML button to view my text in markup mode. Here I can perform surgery on my audio and do all kinds of things like changing the inflection of a single word, changing the voice style mid-sentence, and so much more. For now, I won't make any changes, rather regenerate my audio. Now I can easily add it to my project either to my media pool or directly to my timeline. Once I insert it onto my timeline, the tool creates a new track and places the audio in an event on that track.